All right, so this video has been a little bit different. After a few weeks of nonstop recording, I decided to just take a break and, you know, just hike. Uh, all the walking shots, me setting up my tent, were recorded on my previous trip out to Jefferson Park, which was a few weeks ago. Uh, the attentive viewer would have seen that the backpack I packed at the start of the video and that I'm unpacking right now uh, is not the pack that I was wearing in the footage. I figured I had already filmed this trail twice, making a single video a while ago. Uh, it was the first major hiking video, I guess. Uh, so I didn't want to cover already existing ground, really. Jefferson Park is one of the most popular backpacking trails in the state, and for good reason. The Alpine Meadows are absolutely gorgeous. Mount Jefferson takes up a solid 40 degrees of your field of view, and it's hard to get a photo without the glaciated mountain in the background. Uh, if you want more in-depth videos showing the park, I highly recommend checking out Hike Oregon's video here on YouTube. I was out at the park for two nights and ate about half the food I brought. A few days before I made some biscuits and froze them, the biscuits and some instant gravy were a great breakfast and lunch on day two. I had some three cheese macaroni from Backpacker's Pantry, which was disappointing. A couple of cliff bars and a whole bag of some local jerky. I didn't eat the ramen I prepared, sadly, the instant potatoes or the mountain house either. I also used up the last of my fuel heating the water for my instant espresso the final morning. I brought a camp chair as well, something I bought at Fred Meyer's uh, while it was on sale. It's really cheap, something like 15 bucks. One of the legs just completely bent under my own weight and I'm about 20 pounds under the weight limit for it. Uh, I had forgot my bug spray, which was fine this time because there were just about no mosquitoes, which is the polar opposite of earlier in the season when the entire place was just a cloud of mosquitoes. This trip was with three friends and myself. We camped out at Russell Lake, which is the northmost lake in the park. Uh, we did scout another lake a bit more to the northeast, which offered some great views as well. It's a little different. It might technically be outside of the park. There was no official campsites there. It got a bit cold at night, uh, but I was able to use my sleeping bag, which is a Kelty Tuck 20, unzipped as a blanket without much discomfort. Uh, the cheap nature hike tent I picked up on Amazon has been great, though setting it up there were some horrible sounds from the layers of plastic peeling apart from each other from the moisture that was trapped in there last time. I do wish my tent was a bit more freestanding. Uh, it'd be a lot easier for me to pick it up and shake it out, get all the dust and debris that naturally finds its way into the tent. There was also a lot of super fine dust. The viewfinder and mirror of my camera did end up with dirt on them, even though I only changed the lens inside the tent and very quickly at that. When I got home, I did wipe down the camera, make sure to get all the dust off of it and cleaned the mirror and the uh, viewfinder. I checked the sensor and everything was fine there. I had used Google Earth Pro to scout a few locations for photos, but I forgot to print out a map for that or pin the locations on my all trails. So I just did some wandering around to find the photos. Uh, a bit earlier in the season, there are more puddles, hence you know more mosquitoes, like I said earlier, which gives more potential reflection shots of Mount Jefferson. The more puddles there are, the more likely you are to have other random objects you can use in the foreground as opposed to just the bog standard mountain reflecting in water. I tried to use some grass and rocks around a fairly large puddle to add some interest to my reflection shot this time. Uh, finding that that 18 millimeter lens just isn't wide enough on my crop sensor to get everything I really want in frame and have a large enough depth of field to keep everything sharp that I want to have sharp. I'm going to be changing it to where I'm putting out roughly two videos a month instead of uh, the one video a week that I had been doing. Uh, I want to do this because I really like hiking, I really like doing the filming, I really like doing the editing, but always having to do that, it's a real big energy drain, right? So sometimes I just want to go hike and not have to worry about stuff. All right, if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, uh, put them down in the comments below. I'm 
not a lot of views, so I'm able to respond to pretty much everyone. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and all the other begging stuff we do here on YouTube.